Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the longest palindromic substring problem. Let's first see a statement. Given a string S, find the longest palindromic substring in S. You may assume that the maximum length of S is 1,000. Let's see the example. If the input is B A B A D, we can return B A B or A B A because both of these two strings uh, have the length of three. So how to solve this problem? Let's first think about the feature of the palindrom palindromic substring. Um, when the string has, um, we, we all know that a palindromic string have, has a center that when we go left and uh, go right at the same time, the character should be the same. Like, uh, B A B is a palindromic string because it has the center of B uh, A, and uh, uh, on its uh, on its both side it have the same uh, characters. Another example is B A A B. It uh, has the center of the empty place, and when we go left and go right, we can have the same string, which is A B and A B. So based on this feature, we can try to generate the palindromic, uh, palindromic substring from the center. And uh, for the given string, we can, uh, if the length is n, we can have uh, 2 times n minus 1 center because the palindromic substring can have the old Old number of characters or the even number of characters. They can have the different center. Okay, so let's solve this question. And basically, the time complexity will be the big O n square, and the space complexity is constant. We can also use a, d a dynamic programming to solve this question, but to, we we have to use an extra space to save the DP array. So uh, the optimal solution should be just to try to generate uh, the longest palindromic substring based on the uh, 2 times n minus 1 center. So let's first do the base case check if s equal to null or s dot length equal to 0, we return empty string. And then we get the length of this string. That will be s dot length, and then we have to uh, every time when we try to generate the longest uh, palindromic uh, substring, we have to compare with the uh, max length already, and uh, because at the last we need to return the string. So the simplest way is that we save the start index and uh, the end index. So. We uh try to start from one. Why? Because we start because uh when the index is zero, we know that the longest substring should uh, just uh, be the uh this b because when it cannot go left, when it go left, the index is invalid. So we should start from one and i less than n i plus plus. We, we can have two lengths, and we will name the help function with extend by center. We will pass the string. And uh, because we need to uh, have two characters, and one go left and one go right. So when uh, it has an older length, we, uh, we know the the start character should be the same, which like this B A B. We, uh, we start from this A and then go left and go right. So, uh, the start index should be the same, which is I and I, and the length two, we start uh extend by center. So in this case, we uh the two start index should be I minus one and I right we. Uh, I minus one go left and I go right. So that should be I minus one and I. 
so if the length one is greater than the max length, we we'll update the max length to the uh, length one, and uh, at the same time update the start with the i. Uh, no, it should be i minus length one divide two, and end should be i plus length one divide two. And if length two is greater than max length, we also update the max length to the length two. Uh, and the start index should be i minus length two divide two. But the end index should be i minus one pl plus length two divide two. Why? Because see this example. Uh, we know the i is two, right? Uh, 0, 1, 2. So the i is 2, right? But the end index should just be 3. So we should minus 1 use this plus the length, the half of the length. And that should be 1 plus 2. So this we can get 3. So you should pay attention to how to get the correct index. And finally, we just return the s substring. That will be start. And that should be end plus one because the substring is exclusive this end index. So now let's implement this extend by center. The first parameter is the string, and that will be the low, and that will be the high. We need to return the max length, so at least it should be one, right? Because one character is a palindromic substring, and we use a while loop. We, we should first make sure the index is valid. So the low should be great or equal than zero, and the high should be less than s dot length. And uh, also, these two characters should be the same. So s char at uh, low uh, should be equal to the s char at uh, high. Um, because in this while loop, they are valid. So we can update the max length to the high minus low plus one because they are inclusive. And then make a low go left and make high go right. Finally, just return this max length. Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.